I have successfully outsourced a replacement switch seen on the left for $1.27 that replaces the failed switch on the right from this grinder so it can be made safe. They have identical physical sizes, the holes line up identical terminals on them and the same amount of force is needed to operate the pin plunger on the switch. So they will be complete, completely compatible or, or fully compatible. However, there are three key differences between the two switches and when you go shopping you need to watch out for these three things. The first one is a difference in manufacturer. This one on the left is manufactured by Omron. You can see the raised letters on the upper left hand corner. The fail switch was manufactured by a Chinese manufacturer. A big manufacturer and been in business long enough. I'm not trying to pronounce it. It's just D-I-C-G-U. Okay, that's the manufacturer. And their logo is a capital letter D with I-C printed in it. And the uh, I-C is connected with a small horizontal bridge between the two letters there, all inside the D. This one on the left again is Omron, the medical equipment manufacturer Omron. And the switch is made in Indonesia, that's what's printed on it. The second difference is the amperage rating between the two of them. And this one that failed has a 3 amp rating there printed on the switch and the Omron switch has a 5 amp rating printed underneath the letter O in, in Omron. The 75 watt motor in the grinder only needs 0 0.6 amps when it runs so a 3 amp switch is well within safe a 5 amp switch is way well within safe so but you do have to watch out for those numbers. You don't want a replacement switch that's rated for less amperage. Okay, usually as a as a usual uh, rule uh, that applies here, you can make it safer and make it uh, you know go over with for uh, for capacity, but uh, don't go under. The third difference is indicated by a series of letters on these switches. On the fail switch you can see this the UL logo here. It's an L and an R printed backwards Underwriter Laboratories. This switch has been rated by Underwriter Laboratories for a certain number of mechanical cycles and a certain number of electrical cycles. And that number describes the lifespan of the switch. This is a rated 10,000 cycle switch. 10,000 switches, switchings, is its life cycle. That is it. And the Omron switch has a 200,000 switchings or cycles that it can go through. 10,000 versus 200,000. The Omron switch outlasts the Chinese switch by a factor of 20. Okay, it's going to last 20 times longer. And these numbers from Underwriter Laboratories or another organization, there's a Canadian equivalent to that, C, under, Canadian Underwriter Laboratories, or you can see this VDE triangle here. It's a triangle with rounded corners and a rectangle underneath. VDE is a German organization that rates electrical stuff the same way. You can see the same triangular stuff there on the Omron switch. Now let me tell you about these cycles and these ratings a little bit. Here is this computer screen. So this is the Chinese switch. SM series sub miniature snap action switch. This is how it looks like. On the manufacturer's site there's the manufacturer's name. The same logo for the Chinese manufacturer and it lists here in uh, detailed description. Those are the Underwriter Laboratories, Canadian Underwriter Laboratories and the VDA, VDE logo. You can see that for the 3 amp switch, maybe you can, so I'll read it to you there. It's 10,000 cycles by UL and Canadian UL and by VDE also 10,000 cycles crystal clearly printed in it. So this switch might be only five cents instead of a dollar twenty-seven, but it's a five five cent switch. There's a reason for it. It's electrical 
life is gonna be 10,000 cycles and in my case with this grinder it was 15 years fair enough but I couldn't find this anywhere in North America and Kitty Wen which says contact now has failed to return my inquiries in two months time so I'm not gonna get a switch from them the Omron switch here is the website I'm gonna include all of the links in the description of the video if you click on this technical data sheet then this PDF document comes up and in the column here that says 5 amp switch you can see 200,000 operations that's for electrical durability the mechanical is 30 million switches but the electrical is always less okay because the there's always arcing inside the switch and components get coated with soot eventually and uh, soot is not very it is dielectric is is insulator so that's the third and last difference with the switches again manufacturer amperage rating and electrical cycle rating okay now just a little bit about VDE you might come across a manufacturer who who stamps on or paints on any of these logos on their product just because they can you know and it doesn't just be and, and it doesn't mean if it's on the switch that the switch actually went through any of those organizations so on VDE's website most of it is German whatever plug it into Google Translate I don't care uh, get by you're creative and smart there is a button here on the right hand corner it says Zeichen Missbrauch, okay, that's illegal use. If you click on the illegal use button here, then a number of companies will be listed here that use the VDE logo or misappropriate it and use it illegally. Let me just zoom into the screen just a tad more so you can see just a sampling of some of these companies. There, that's a better size. I'm not gonna read it. Something something China. Just just quickly. Something something Hong Kong. Something something China. Another company in Taiwan. Another manufacturer in Taiwan. These are companies. Another one in China. These are companies that VDE people found to uh, to be illegally stamping VDE triangle or the VDE stamp of approval on their electrical products so uh, some of the words are in English here connector non rewirable or plug with grounding contact or earthing contact so whatever the product is manufactured is you know so half of it is English half of it is German and the rest of it you can just you know you can just read it it's English enough it's just the address and the name of the company somebody in Italy uh, somebody in China you get the idea another Chinese company and another one and another one and then and and uh, that looks like something Chinese as well Taipei Chinese okay and this is a long page like a long page Serbia Australia USA China Tokyo something electronics okay so all of these companies there are more more companies without valid VDE approval all right so it's a long long list of products that are out there and never went through VDE certification you get the idea so these are some of the resources I'm gonna include these and uh, as for wiring up the switches and correctly connecting them I'm gonna make an entirely separate or different video uh, there are these uh, numbers 1, 2 and 3 on the switches as well as some letters let me just make it sharp there K N C K O and C those letters are seen on this switch and similar letters and 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 there are also numbers one two and three on this side okay so I'm gonna explain how this switch works one this one is one three and two 
those are the numbers at the terminal. I'm going to explain the electrical guts inside of this switch and how it's wired up in the next video.